Hi, my name's Megan. I'm a senior. Hey, um, my name is Ben Coley. Hi, everyone. I'm Maya Haldar, and currently I'm a senior at Cape Penlopen High School. Hi, my name is Jackie, and I'm a senior this year at Cape. Hello, my name is Braden Rochester. Hi, my name is Karen. I'm a junior here at Cape. Hi, right, my name is Leah Lizenby, and I am a senior at Cape Penlopen High School. Hey, eighth grade. This is Liam Weedman. I'm a senior at uh, Cape and Lupin High School. Hey guys, my name is Bella Myers. I am a senior this year. And I've been involved in pretty much all of the performing arts here at Cape. I am a choir student. I have been in theater for four years. I perform in the plays for theater during the after school hours. I played in band for a bit, even though I wasn't great. And I have been in marching band. Okay. And all I of them... have been in the performing arts since my freshman year. So I've been in the concert band, the symphonic band, the marching band, the jazz band, uh, the choirs, the chorale, and a lot of the theater programs or productions. I play the clarinet and I sing and I'm in the theater department. So I am uh, one of those kids that bounces between all three of our separate departments within our big arts department. Uh, so just to touch on the performing arts programs, they're truly great experiences to learn and grow with. I'd recommend if you join any of the arts programs if you wish, because it's very fun, such as theater, choir, or band. Um, I joined marching band when I was a freshman, um, chorale when I was a sophomore, and I've been in the theater department since I was a freshman as well. And I know in middle school it's really hard to do both band and choir or to, you know, do the musical and still be in those other classes. But at our school, the faculty makes it very easy for people like me <laughs> to be in whatever they want to be in. Because I didn't want to be limited to just band and I didn't want to do just choir. I wanted to do both. And then I got introduced to the theater department and I wanted to do all three. So the faculty here are very nice and kind um, with students who want to do all three but might have a tight schedule because I didn't have room in my schedule for all three my freshman year. I did track and you know, indoor track, outdoor track, all of that. And, you know, it never conflicted with anything with band and everything all worked out great. So. Since I'm a junior, it's been three years I've been in band. I've learned so much and I've grown so much as a person. I used to be really shy as a freshman, but now here I am making a video to you guys. These past three years have been amazing. I've been, I've made so many friends and I have done so many things I would have never done if it weren't for band. I think that's probably one of the greatest things about our program is that you are able to do so much. Um, it doesn't limit you to one thing. I had never played an instrument before, before I went into band. And now I can play clarinet. I'm in, I think, every band. You know, that there's this sort of thing where people think that you, if you're in band, you're a nerd. You're a band nerd. And that's not true. Just because you're in band doesn't mean that that's all you are. And uh, even so, it can still be a massive part of your life, as it is for me. As an example, I play four instruments. I play saxophone, clarinet, bassoon, and piano. And I don't consider myself a band nerd. I know that you guys don't have theater classes in middle school, but it's definitely something to consider for high school. It helps you be more personable, speak in public. So if you want to join, maybe joining choir or finding other people with your interests would be good. Hopefully you join choir next year. Um, it's really just a great experience to put in hard work and see that hard work pay off and the effort that you yourself and your peers put in. And one of the most important things that I can tell you about our program is that you will meet some of the most incredible people in your life right here. Like you've got people that will take care of you, that'll help you out whenever you need it, people that will always stand up for you, people that'll have your back. We just have a really, really incredible group of people that will always be there for each other. Um, Another thing that's good <laughs> about joining, especially our extracurricular activities like marching band, jazz band, um, the musical, chorale, you know, all those type of extracurricular type things, is the people. So when I was a freshman, I made friends with the seniors and they kind of helped me find my classes on my first day. And um, they would give me rides to places and we would hang out outside of school. And I would literally, I'd be able to get home if like my mom didn't, wasn't able to pick me up or, you know, take me home. I would have someone that could take me home. So it's a really um, tight knit community here at Cape. And um, it's great because there's so many people within our department that it's it's such an amazing community because we get to you know we know each other and we take care of each other and all of it and we so as far as camaraderie you um there's a 
there's a ton of experiences to be had, a ton of friends to be made, and a ton of experiences that you may not experience without these um, performing arts. So for everyone else, being able to and make- there's something about that team effort that just is so gratifying, and especially when the people that you're doing it for, you really care about. I mean, everybody in band is just a massive community. Like we all come together, we're all friends. You know, it's just we're just such we're such a close-knit community it's it's really awesome and you should become part of it i would love to see you guys here next year take advantage of the opportunities that we do have because not a lot of schools have the opportunities that we do um with the facilities and teachers and um like-minded people as as much as we do uh we have such a great community that takes care of each other and looks out and i think that everyone should take at least one performing arts class. I think it's something that makes you a well-rounded person. And I think that it's something that's definitely worth giving a try. Being able to partake in in marching band and drumline was a really great experience for myself. And I really was able to learn a lot about myself. They'll help you out so much along the way and you'll make so many great new friends. All of them have been so much fun and have helped me to make friends and to be around new people. That's why I really think any of our departments would suit incoming freshmen. I just think it's a very nice community. It's somewhere to go. It's a safe space for people of all different kinds, you know? I I can't think of another class or activity that I've ever done that's had that role in my life. And that's big for me. And you know what? It's really fun, too. And it's just, it's a really good program to be a part of, so... Take advantage of it and enjoy it. You know, you'll learn a bunch of life les- lessons along the way that uh, you'll apply, you know, for the rest of your life. So that van just provides a massive opportunity to, like, learn and develop as a human being and just become a better person. I think you should join Van. Uh, so I really encourage you to give it a try. I am who I am because of Cape's Performing Arts. I hope to see you guys next year. Bye. Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Burkhart. I'm one of the performing arts instructors here at Cape Henlopen High School. And you've just heard about all the great reasons to join our performing arts classes and extracurricular activities. I'm going to quickly explain what career pathways and what electives are at the high school. You have 11 open spots in your high school schedule over the four years that you're a student at Cape Henlopen High School. AC students, you actually have 14 or 18 open slots, depending on if you're uh, taking math and English or math or English. Three of those open spots need to be in the same career pathway as a graduation requirement. This is actually a super easy requirement to achieve because you get to pick 11 or more different classes to take out of your own interests in the time that you're in high school and you will very, very easily take three in the same department at some point along the way. Your career pathway is not like a college major. You do not have to declare that you are selecting a clear pathway of X, and that's the thing you're going to do through high school, and if you change your mind, you have to switch it later. All you have to do is put three classes together in the same department at some point along the way. I have never heard of a student having trouble getting those three classes before they graduate. It is going to be super easy and you get to take what you're interested in and let that guide you and let that change over the time you're in high school. No college is going to ask what your career pathway is. No employer is going to ask what your career pathway was in high school. These are just a state requirement that you have to put three of the same thing together out of the 11 before you graduate. In our music pathway, the most popular major of students coming out of the music pathway is engineering. They just happen to have said, oh, you know, it's kind of easy to tag three of my music classes together. I like doing music. In addition to taking math classes and other things along those lines that help them become engineers. What we want to do as performing arts teachers and what the students in the video are telling you to do is explore. Do things you love and help you grow as a person. We have a ton of graduates of our program that are at very, very prestigious universities doing a wide variety of things. Some of them are majors in the arts, which is really cool and we're excited about, but most of them are not. Um, We have students at the University of Southern California, University of Michigan, Columbia University, Princeton University, Johns Hopkins University. Um, We have students on full rides, a ton of students at the University of Delaware. This is a program that will set you up for success in your future endeavors, and we'd really love to have you join us. On the screen will be a list of curricular and extracurricular activities that you can participate in in the Performing Arts program at Cape High School, as well as contact information for Ms. Andros, Ms. Sonnegren, and myself. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and please thank your teachers for taking time out of their class to show it. Have a great day. You say that there's
to see my a siege. I in see a, a ladder so blind. Maybe we're all falling. Maybe we got out. played. You're blinded you by fate. Fate. The solution you is you here. Should. We can find it. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. Congratulations are in order for two K Penlopen students. Two seniors were chosen for one prestigious musical competition. It's been over 10 years since a student from Cape has been accepted, and it doesn't go without a lot of hard work and practice. <laughs> Hours of practice and years of dedication. Student and musician Megan Irby says accomplishments like these don't come without behind the scenes work. I would come home from school and I would spend hours practicing and then I would do also been playing the tuba for seven years. Practice pretty much every single day for um, both my tuba and my guitar audition to the point where I like basically memorized like every single note. <laughs>